Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars. Uh, this is uh, Masochism, basically my 1075% difficulty run. And uh, we got a brilliant, brilliant research uh, breakthrough last time around. Um, I think it was last time around, but anyway, we've got this brilliant breakthrough. So let's just take a look in the, uh, in the uh, research here. And we've got we got this breakthrough cryosleep, which means our rockets can now carry 20 more passengers. So with the default 14 passengers and another 20, that means we can bring 34 colonists on our first rocket. And that's going to be absolutely critical because uh, we need a larger base population, if at all possible, in order to uh, to sustain the colony since we can only call one rocket now uh, ideally also I want to uh, get the uh, the uh, other uh, research down here I, I can't remember which one yeah in engineering which gives us um, um, an extra 10 if we could bring 44 colonists on a rocket it would be absolutely brilliant anyway uh, what have we got here uh, I'm just uh, uh, I'm just checking what we we have here um, we definitely want soil adaptation and then uh, Then I think uh, it would be a good idea um, uh, I think it's a good idea to get low G high rise as well uh, just so that we can actually house our colonists when they get here uh, anyway uh, we'll, we'll close that and I'll unpause things we're working through a uh, an electrostatic dust storm right now and uh, you know that's that's fine um, once that uh, finishes uh, we can go ahead and uh, uh, get our uh, drone commander back out here and uh, get the uh, the ramp uh, uh, done um, uh, Right. Uh, okay, we got Martian-born ingenuity, so that will uh, help our our stuff here. Um, okay, so what did that? Uh, uh, where is Martian-born ingenuity? Ah, it was a breakthrough. Okay. Um, now I think we we want to run down engineering. Um. So if we grab a, uh, well, I probably want to get all of the uh, factory buildings as well. Uh, well, we'll grab this since it's a low cost re research and then that'll unlock. So we'll unlock a couple of these. Okay. Um, might need to grab, uh, okay, actually what I want to do here is I want to go in the command center and look at, um, uh what is it uh transportation yeah no uh drone hubs rockets huh Okay, well, let's uh, pack a couple of those and put them in the uh, drone commander. Okay. Now, we'll take the uh, drone commander and uh, do I take the risk on this? I just need to get it in range. So if I bring the uh, commander out, uh, so it just gets in range, that should be enough to 
Um, no, I think we need to be about here. Yeah, that that's uh, that's definitely uh, close enough that uh, it will allow uh, working on this, getting it finished. And then that will allow uh, uh, exploring the anomalies in here. Uh, okay, we'll queue up a few more of those. Um, yeah, it's uh, just about uh, just about done, so we can just about get down there. Um, and then I think I want to. Uh, hmm. Yeah, sending the uh, commander way out there in the middle of nowhere is risky. Um, yeah. Well, uh, uh, we need, uh, what is it here? Um, another Saul to uh, get through the, um, through the uh dust storm um okay so I'll, i want those to open but this one i think is important first okay uh what's this the mission hq on earth has decided to we can use a new transport or financial aid um Hmm. Or do we want the money? Um, let's grab the financial aid. Um, as uh, funding is uh, actually uh, harder to uh, obtain than uh, a rover. Um, right. Okay. And we're going to want to explore that right away because that's research progress. Uh, okay. So that's that. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, now looking in here, low, was it low G engineering? is under engineering I think and that gets us a bigger dome that would be a really good thing I think if we could do that uh, okay how's this uh, this doing seven percent um, right so we have a Drone wor drones worshiping at the altar of uh, landscaping. Right. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. A meteor. Well, that was fun. Uh, kind of good it didn't hit anything. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we're doing okay for resources for the moment, so uh, I just want to I want to take a look here. Do we have anything we can do up here? Uh, we need geologists for that one. Okay, and we need geologists for that one. Okay, uh, this gets us meteors. Uh, capture meteors might be worth doing. It might be. Uh, if we can grab a couple meteors then uh, that give us um, uh, research, that would be good. Uh, we're just about done the dust storm, so we'll be able to start up the uh, uh, the um, um, uh, water and uh, um, refinery here uh, and get the, the fuel going again. And there we go. We can start that, and we can start that. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, so that's good. Um, now, you are an explorer. We'll automate. Yeah, it's automated. Uh, transport will automate, and it should just charge off and start uh, accumulating things. Uh, this is slowly making progress. But, uh, yeah, it'll, uh, it'll eventually finish. Uh, right. Um, well, we're making, uh, progress on frictionless composites. Uh, that would be, uh, useful. You get more power out of these things would be, uh, good. Um, I really, really want to get immortal wires and pipes, but, uh, you know, I should be so lucky. Um... Now we've got some uh, polymers down here. Um, Likey well, coming out of that thing. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see what. Eighteen uh, percent. You know, if I keep looking at that, it's uh, well, it'll still get done, but it'll feel like it takes twice as long. Um, Okay, so you can't, it, it looks like you can't reassign uh, uh, rockets, um, or drones from rockets directly. What if I, what if I do this? You now are commanding none, and you have all of them. Okay. Okay, well, the rocket could take off. I don't want to send it up to Earth just yet. Um, uh, I, I want to uh, I want to hang out a bit here, collect some uh, fuel, and uh, uh, you know, get some. Uh, you know, maybe maybe go for the uh, the meteors. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah, maybe going for the meteors would be worth it. Um, is these really do uh, give you a, a pretty good boost? Yeah, or I or I should uh, grab the uh, research that uh, reveals uh, uh, orbital anomalies. Uh, that might be worth doing, actually. We've got a cold wave coming. Uh, yeah, cold waves are fine. Uh, not the end of the world. Um, unless it's the long winter, which uh, that one's really annoying. You kind of want the long winter to uh, show up before uh, you have colonists if you're going to get it. Uh, watch the dust devil here, uh, head over here, and dissipate. Yep. You see, that's a hack. You can just plop these things up and uh, cause the dust devils to dissipate. And they cost nothing, so... You know, it's a neat trick. Um, and you're at 28%. Uh, well, what I can do is I can go in here... Uh, and I can take a couple more of those and put them in there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so if we do that, we've got... Uh, that should double the work rate there. Um, yeah, so we should be able to get that sorted a little bit faster. Um, yeah. So I'm going to need to uh, look into uh, putting up a uh, dome soon. Um, yeah, uh, 
So the first dome is going to need food. Uh, new anomalies found. Uh, what a, an event and a uh, research thing. Okay. Uh, well, it's at least looking like a ramp now. Uh, right, so as soon as the uh, ramp is finished, the uh, explorer should charge off and uh, start uh, analyzing anomalies there. Um, yeah, we're coming up on, uh, frictionless composites. Huh. So I'm thinking if I don't have the bigger dome, I can put a second dome right over here. Um, and it would still have the, uh, Vista. Um, or... Well, let's uh, just take a look here. Domes. Basic dome. Uh, I could fit one. Ooh, I could fit it over here. That's uneven terrain. But there's enough room between them. I could fit it over here. Yeah. We'll consider that. Um, yeah, we'll consider that, uh, because I'm going to need two basic domes with the number of colonists I'll be bringing in, and the amount of food I'll need to produce, so, um, yeah, uh, so we'll just uh, keep that under our hat as a plan, um, yeah, because that gets us close enough we can exploit the metals, uh, and the rare metals, um, so I think I want to have most of the population over here. Um, a single uh, uh, medium dome right here would uh, would work well, though. Um, okay, well, our uh, explorers collecting stuff, uh, and this is fifty four percent. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely going faster. 99% just about have frictionless composites. And there we go. Frictionless composites. Uh, now you are producing... Four. Ooh! It doubled the altitude boost as well. Nice. Okay. Well, uh, that was... Uh, that okay so that's our uh, okay we're doing high high groscopic vaporators uh, we definitely want that uh, i definitely want the polymer factory and electronics factory and then the uh, um, uh, machine parts factory as well i definitely want those uh, but the uh, a polymer factory, I think, is the uh, most important one initially. Uh, there's a lot of stuff uses polymers. You got one soul before the cold wave. And with that uh, breakthrough on our uh, turbines, uh, that should sort out any... Uh, any shortfall on power because you know we're 61 positive you know what make make a great breakthrough is the one that converts excess power into research points um, you know I got that uh, on one playthrough where I attempted the 1075 research um, I ended up failing on that one because I did bad planning but uh, that sure helps with uh, uh, with um, uh, 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 you know getting ahead um, yeah uh, okay oh that's a well that unlocks technologies 
Uh, yeah, that unlocks tech. Um, I think there's some breakthroughs that'll probably pop up up here. Um, right, and you're at 69%. Um, and we have uh, almost 60 fuel, so you know, uh, I might just do that. Um, send up and capture the uh, meteors. And that would, and when I do that, I'll turn these on. Um, yeah. yeah, I think that'd be worth doing, because if we can get a few uh, research anomalies out of it, uh, then that will help immensely. Uh, it's definitely, uh, definitely the the direction that uh, that makes sense, since we're not doing much else at the moment. Although it does mean that you have a risk of losing your rocket. And, uh, yeah, we don't really want to do that either. So, hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I just want to get that ramp done and then send the uh, commander uh, way up here to here. And, uh... That means I'm going to need to have, and eh, we'll put some uh, dumping sites in a ring here. Yeah, if we put dumping sites in a ring, that should be six, seven, eight. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, we got net positive power, so we should be okay. Oh, it's a long cold wave, too. It's six souls. Um, yeah. Uh, it's going to take a while to finish up. Uh, but, you know, the, the cold wave, not so bad. Um, we don't have anything that's... Oh, these. I should... Uh, uh, turn these back on so they don't freeze. Yeah, I had them off for the uh, dust storm. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we don't have enough power. Um, okay. Uh, I guess uh, if we slow that down. Um, I can build a uh, uh, in here build a couple of uh, these so if I, I do this uh, hygroscopic vaporators is up um, okay uh, Zing that along. Uh, okay, come on. There's one coming up. There's two coming up. There's enough power now. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, definitely good. Um, now, if we go in here... Uh, that takes two polymers. We have two polymers, so we'll do that. Uh, you transport where... Oh, you, oh, you got hit by a, a Dewey. Um, yeah. That's a pretty impressive one. Um, yeah, I guess if I drop that there, poof, they're gone. Uh, but that's far enough away that I'll have to take the commander out there to do that. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, oh, this is just about done, so I'll be able to do that. Okay, it's done. Um, you come over here and up to here 
And then we'll see. See about getting that repaired. And the uh, rover's heading down there to explore an anomaly. So I'm just going to drop this here. Um, and that here. Hopefully that... Oh, that's the event one. Uh, which one will it go to next? That's the question. Uh, okay. Now, let's, uh, let's go look at this guy. Uh, just uh, ticking along. Be annoying if this guy gets clobbered. Uh, anomaly. What did we get? Uh, iridium rich sulfides. Um, reduces cost of physics by 10%. Okay. Okay, so this guy gets up here. And they go off, repair the transport. And off it goes. Then we can bring this guy, uh, bring him back over here. Now, where did you go? You're way up there. Well, it's a research one, so that's okay. Uh, what are we researching? Soil adaptation. So, oh, we got a thousand out of that one. Now, where are you going? Okay. Uh, now, um, electronics. Yeah, we'll grab that. And, uh, yeah, well, I'll hold that one. Um, and this one. Uh, hmm, is that one worth doing? It might be. I'll uh, I'll do planetary survey. Um, right. Okay. So, what's that gonna unlock? Um, that's uh, somewhat important, I think. What it'll unlock. Uh, how are we going? Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now we're to the point where we're going to need to uh, scan some other stuff. Okay. What we what we need to do is research deep scanning. That's what we need to do. Yeah. Uh, what's available? Um, open research. So we got uh, storage compression. Um, yeah. Shuttle speed increase. Um, okay, that's not too bad. Um, now, over here, where are you going? Um, you grab a couple of those uh. okay see if we can get those things to uh stay away from the uh, explorer ah, transport got clobbered again way over there because of course it did uh, I'm just gonna leave that alone for the moment you are the explorer you can come back up over here for safety and uh, you can trundle up here. 
Now. Just uh, watch that. Uh, definitely need to watch the, uh, the thing here so that it doesn't... Uh, So it doesn't get uh, uh, clobbered by anything. And we just researched low G high rise. Uh, right. Hopefully this can make it up there without getting clobbered. The second RC commander would be nice, but that's a fair bit of uh, cash to uh, burn to get one. Okay, we're just about up to the uh, parking point. Okay, I'm going to park it right in the middle there. Hopefully that means that it doesn't get clobbered by anything. Now this needs to remove a fair bit of excess waste rock, so uh, that will take a moment. Now let's, uh, let's go look in here. Uh, we got Planetary Survey queued up. Uh, what do we got? Smart Home. Um, well, I'll queue that up as I am chasing that uh, rocket tech um, right now I want to go hmm you know I'm really tempted to go and do a meteors mission really really tempted um, capture meteors. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do it. Send. Um, uh, right. I'm, I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's just the uh, the chance of some uh, research anomalies is uh, worth it. Um, now you... Oh, it's making progress. Four drones should be enough to do decent progress there. So that's clearing is done. Now it's extracting waste rock. That will take a moment. Right, okay, now, uh, where are we at here? Halfway through fuel compression. Fuel compression, what's fuel compression? Uh, fuel compression, oh yeah, that's the increased cargo space. Uh, that will uh, open up another uh, engineering tech here. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, physics here. This is where we find the scanning, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to grab subsurface heating and Stirling generator as well. Um, not sure on that. Um, you are metals. Um, okay, yeah. I'm going to need to put a... Metals Depot and a no concrete depot 
and uh, metal steeple. Yep. Okay. Uh, so far, so good there. Um, we'll go in and uh, look over here. Uh, that's making progress, so that's not terrible. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to let it run a little bit longer here, actually. Um, hopefully, yeah, we'll see about see what where the meteors fall. Um, is that will uh, that will be potentially uh, uh, useful? Um, a break, you know, that um, planetary survey. If we get get a breakthrough that up there, uh, we might get a really good breakthrough. So. Uh, I'll definitely uh, definitely be looking for that. Um, well, that's actually not making bad progress on that. Um, right. Well, the cold wave has one and a third sols left. Uh, how's the... Yeah, we've extracted a fair bit of concrete out of there. Um... Right. Okay, so what... Uh, what do... Uh, what do I want to... Um, uh, scan next? Uh, scan that. And that. I'll scan the plateau there. Then I'll uh, scan the valley. And then... Uh, And then it'll just fill in the holes. Uh, yeah, cold wave is progressing. We got fuel compression. Uh, okay, let's take a look in here. Uh, mega storage. Um, so that's 3,000. That's 4,500. We'll grab that. No, we won't. Um, that's... Uh, we'll grab that one. And... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay, good. Um, so that's fuel compression. Yeah, we haven't found any anomalies, really, to speak of on this side. Um, I think last time I uh, played this map, uh, a fair number of them popped up on deep scanning. So, uh, now I want to take a look at the mission profile. Uh, we need six more anomalies to... Uh, um, to get that one. A mega dome is ten thousand research and nine breakthroughs. We need five breakthroughs more to get the uh, get three three billion in funding there. Okay. Well, uh, where do we where do we stand here? Um, basically, a bunch of waiting, I think. Uh, we do have four hundred uh, sponsor research per soul, which is. Uh, um, quite impressive, really. Uh, right. Well, I want to go up here and uh, take a look at that, that progress. 7%. Yeah. That's going to take a while. Okay. Uh, we're two-thirds of the way up to the uh, meteors. Uh, and we'll get a meteor storm. Hopefully it won't land on the colony. Uh, on our base. What's this? Stuff. Right. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I need to make sure not to leave it too long to uh, call down uh, the passenger rocket. Um, okay, cold wave is over. So we're up to uh, 80 power. 96, 101. Yeah, okay, so we're, we're doing okay there. Uh, getting close to the, um, to the, uh, meteors. Um, right, we'll go up here. Let's take a look. 10%. Okay, it's doing okay. Uh, it, they, they met my faster progress. Now the cold wave is done, actually. Uh, right. Um, okay, I think I, I want to uh, clobber those. Yeah. Uh, okay, where are we? Yeah, I just want to see where the uh, meteors are going to land uh, when uh, when this uh, this here uh, uh, rocket arrives. Um, eight, nine, right? Yeah, there's like no anomalies at all through here. Interesting. And uh, meteor storm should appear. Complete a special project. Uh, we'll view the message. And they're falling over there. Um, okay, that's not so bad. Um, it's an annoying location, but it's not so bad. Uh, that's not on the uh, colony, so uh, I can live with that. Now the uh, rocket's coming back. Uh, I'll land it, of course. Land the rocket. Good. And, of course, it's going to be annoying because it probably won't throw up any anomalies. Although that's a lot of meteors coming in. Well, it, uh, yeah, it could be worse. Um, oh, there's some stuff getting through up here. Yeah, it's drifting this way. Uh, right. Uh, okay, the scanning is making progress. Um, okay, we got uh, about a sol and a half left on the uh, meteor storm. Ah, uh, yeah, we've got some coming in up here now, where we'd have a chance of being able to uh, reach them if they... Uh, create an anomaly. Oh, we got an anomaly up there. It's an event one. Um, right. Okay, so the uh, explorer is heading out there. So I'm going to go to babysit it so we can dodge meteor strikes.
Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of the sort of thing that you need to do so you don't lose your rovers. But we're uh, well, we're getting to the anomaly, uh, and it's an event one. So, oh, we got ooh, it did give us a research one. Good. Um, maybe it'll give us another one. Yeah, I, yeah, I should be so lucky uh, to get two out of one. Okay, well that first anomaly is almost scanned. We'll find out what it is. Uh, view. Uh, pocket of high pressure gas. Dust devils. Yay. Uh, 15 hours left on the uh, meteors. That was a big one. And we got the research one underway now. Got another anomaly up there. Nice. We got two out of the meteor storm. At Ten hours left. Um, okay. Just about finished there. So, Logi Hydrosynthesis is up. Uh, let's, uh, let's just go in here. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to grab subsurface heating as well. Uh, you. I need to just keep you from getting clobbered. Okay, you can analyze that. Three, two. One. And that should be the last one, I think. Yeah, I think that's the last one. Okay. Okay, we got uh, another 1,500. Uh, we got micromanufacturing. We got, got a fair bit out of that, actually. Uh, now, I'm going to grab this guy. Go park him in here. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, I'll just uh, take a boo in here. Uh, Logi Engineering, medium dome. Definitely want that. Uh, sustainable architecture. Yeah. Uh, the medium dome is really. Uh, the thing I want to get before I uh, uh, before I bring uh, colonists in. Um, now it takes polymers to maintain and quite a few polymers to build, but it's uh, I think worth it. Okay, so we got our rover parked up there. Uh, eight, nine. Okay, good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, first I'll check in up here, and we don't have, yeah, oh, we got, we got another meteors expedition we can do. Um, I'm going to do it. Uh, right, anyway, uh, now, uh, with that set up, I'm going to put the cut in here, and, uh, you know, next time, uh, it'll be more of the same, of course. Uh, 
but I'm trying to get down to that uh, medium dome and possibly even more uh, colonists in a rocket. Uh, is if we can have uh, 40 odd uh, colonists, uh, it'll be a lot easier to get the breeding going and get uh, Martian born uh, colonists in. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. So, uh, you know, stay healthy, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and see you next time.